Morning everybody, Rick here, Rick and, with Rick and Deb's Awesome Adventures. We are here in Burden, Kansas for their annual Burden Days with a Z festival. The parade is going to be starting in about, oh, 45, 50 minutes or so. I'm doing the intro now because they're going to be playing some uh, loud music before the parade and probably after the parade, but that's why I'm doing this now before they get that started. Um, there will be an announcer making announcements during the course of the parade. So we'll probably just remain silent and let them do the talking and just enjoy the parade this morning. It is Saturday morning. It is the 9th of September. And we're going to see what we can. We've never been to a Burden Days Festival before. There's going to be a car show later on today. I think most things get started about 11. So after the parade, we're going to go down and see what we can see down. To, most events are going to be going on down at their local park. They're going to have food vendors. There's supposed to be some other activities going on. A car show, of course. So, you know, like I always say, if you're not doing anything this morning, come along and uh, let's enjoy this very, very nice day in the festivities here in Burden, Kansas. So we will be back in just a few minutes. Committee or a group that's helped put this together, we want to thank them. Make sure you guys find the Dobbs family today and thank Lisa and Roger and Ben for all their hard work. Find people from the Arena Association that are putting on the Max Henderson Rodeo tonight at 7 o'clock. Just thank people that have been working so hard. Lisa has really outdone herself. She's put all these beautiful barrels together. Lots and lots of hard work have gone into that, and we appreciate all of their time and efforts. There she is right now. Let's give it up for Lisa Dobbs and all her hard work. And Ben, the whole family. There you go, Lisa. Perfect timing. All right, as we begin the parade, we're gonna ask everybody to be real careful when you're running outside to get your candy. Be careful, we've got people on vehicles, we're gonna have horses, so just be real careful when you're running out to get stuff. We don't want anybody getting hurt today. Again, after the parade, we're gonna have a great time out at the park, so come out for some wonderful food and all kinds of fun. There's a car show out there, games, the T.J. Prater Memorial Basketball event is happening at 1 o'clock and then the rodeo and dance tonight at 7. And I think we're going to get started. We're very proud to have the Honor Guard from Winfield and we'll ask everyone to stand as Hannah Dobbs sings the national anthem for us. We asked all gentlemen to remove your hats if you would please. We're going to stand and um, we appreciate Hannah being here this morning. She'll be singing out at the park this afternoon from one to three. So we appreciate having her talent with us today. Thank you, Hannah. Oh, say can you see me? Stripes and bright stars 
very beautiful. We appreciate the honor guard coming out. Lining the first part of the parade is Burden's Finest. In the expedition, we have our Burden Police Department, led by one of the town's biggest supporters, our chief, Ron Cannon. Thank you, Ron. And the boss is in there with him, I see Teresa. Thanks, you guys, for everything you do for our town. And in the truck, we have our uh, deputies, Adam and Cody. And following them in the charger is Alan. Thank you to our police force. We're fortunate at a town this size to have so many people helping keep us safe. They are followed by our Cowley County Sheriff in the white pickup, David Belletti and his wife Carrie. Welcome to Burden. We're happy to see you this morning. Thanks for coming over to our parade. We have the beautiful and the best as our Grand Marshals today. First of all, Mrs. Judy Lawson, where would this town and our community be without her hard work and her dedication and her faith? And we are all lucky to have someone of Judy's caliber having lived in our town and supported everything we've ever done. She's never missed anything anybody here has ever done, and we are fortunate. Judy, best of luck to you. You look beautiful today, and you got your honorary son driving you. Thank you, Lawson family. And following behind is another important Judy, Miss Judy Colvin, in the truck with um, Mrs. Mrs. Colvin, of course, you guys know, is a longtime mayor of Burden. She's been at the school since the school was built, and we are so fortunate to have her there. All of you know Judy, and again, our town is so beneficial to have her, and we appreciate Burden Storage driving the vehicle with us. Thank you, Mr. Stovall. It's hard to believe that Ms. Burden, Alyssa Loving, is a senior this year, but congratulations, Alyssa. You are a perfect representative for our town. Born and raised here, has a long family tradition of all of her family being here in Burden. She's been representing us around the county and in Arkalala. So congratulations to you, Alyssa. Thank you for being here this morning. Another beautiful girl from Atlanta. This is Miss Atlanta, Katie Cook. We're so excited to have her. Here's her family with her this morning. Thanks for representing the town of Atlanta so well, Katie. Both these girls are excellent students and wonderful, wonderful Central Raiders. Here comes our Raider band under the direction of Miss Mackenzie Wheeler. Mayor Lee Winger driving the next tank. 
speaker. Thank you, Lee, for being here. That's table number 34. Lee's gotten a lot of done for town, and we appreciate all his many years of service on our town council and as our leader, too, as well. And there's old Brody David from some candy out. Thanks, Brody, for bringing the fire trucks to the parade this morning. Followed by his dad, Jeremy. It takes everyone to keep us safe. We have lots of volunteers. We want to thank all of them. Find someone to thank this day that's on one of the safety groups in our town. Here's Papa number 39. Looks like that's Abby Bowman driving the tanker. Thank you. Oh, the pumper truck. Thanks, Abby. All your hard work. She's been doing this a long time, since high school. She's been dedicated to this and wants to make her career in emergency services. Hi, Landon. Got Landon Collins driving the next pumper. Appreciate all your time as well, Landon. Another Central Raider graduate, here comes Brendan Mackey in pumper number 36. Thanks for all your hard work, Brendan. Good to see you today. Our neighbors from the north, here comes Atlanta, they're in red today. Led by their pumper, dri driven by Austin Holt. Thanks, Austin. Glad to see you. He's helped by Josh Evans. Another central grad, Austin Holt, helping keep the town of Atlanta and our community to the north of us safe.
We have the Sons of the Union Veterans of the Civil War represented this morning. We appreciate their interest in the history of our country and the things they do to preserve that history. Followed up by the fastest bike in Burden, never lost a race, Steve Atkins and his whole crew. There's Darla. I see everybody. There you go. Thanks for coming to town, Darla, bringing your crew. Followed up by the Winger family. They are representing the Burden United Methodist Church, and they're advertising the 65th annual Burden United Methodist Church Lord's Acre Supper and Sale. Mark your calendars. It's going to be Saturday, October 28th. We've got a great supper plan starting at 5 o'clock. We've been doing this work in this town for the Lord's Acre sale for 65 years. We hope to see everybody out and about. And another group dear to, and near to my heart is the Burden 4-H Club, led by all the Henderson family. Happy to see them out. You guys, they had a great showing at the county fair. We've got a vibrant Burden 4-H, and we're so happy to see them here this morning. So if a 4-H'er knocks on your door to sell you something, Make sure you support them and let's all be big 4-H supporters. We've got Ta uh, Tasha Mayfield King and Roxanne Schooley representing King Farms. They're here this morning. We appreciate seeing those gals here today. Here's the Central Raider High School Volleyball Team right now.
We appreciate all the work that Cali College does for our students. They lead this part of the state in their career in tech ed. That's what CTE stands for. They have lots of career and tech education programs for kids right out of high school. So in two years time, lots and lots of kids can have a very, very well-paying job with lots of benefits if they go through the Cali College programs. They can weld, they can do um, automotive, they have automotive welding, ag, all kinds of different things that you might be interested in. They have a cosmetology department, so many things that Cali College offers our kids right here in Cali County. It will be the least expensive, most valuable education you could ever give your kids is let them take classes at Cali while they're in high school and also when you follow up and get their certifications. Thank you, Joe Klassen, for being in our parade this morning with the Cali College information. It wouldn't be a parade in Bergen without Ron Scott and one of his beautiful restored tractors. Thank you, Ron, for bringing your farm all in this morning. And you bet I was looking for the Winfield Saddle Club this morning in their gold vest. They've been a fixture at everything we've ever done in this part of the county forever and ever. So thank you to the Winfield Saddle Club for coming out, bringing your pretty horses this morning. And followed up by Miss Emma Arbuckle. She is the 2023 Junior Miss Agriculture USA. Emma's from Granola, and you guys know her mom and dad. And we're so happy at that honor for you, Emma. Congratulations. We've got a couple pink horses in the group today. Two sisters and two equine brothers. We have Braylon Mayfield on PD from Wellington and Amanda Black on Goldmine from Bell Plain. Thanks for being at our parade today. That looks like it all wraps it up. You guys know the horses are the last entries. We appreciate everyone being here today. Let's all head out to the park for all kinds of events. I hear there's some excellent food trucks in town as well. So make sure you make it on out to the park for the rest of the fun. Again, thanks to the many, many people, and especially the Dobbs, for their leadership this morning. We wouldn't have a parade at a Burden Days without everyone's help. We'll see you next year. Okay, we're back. We're here at the park here in Burden, and they've got several food vendors. Um, we ate at this particular vendor uh, here. And we got a huge plate of food for like ten dollars a piece. It was huge. We about didn't get all eight. It was uh, smoked sausage and and pulled pork. And she got the one with nacho cheese. I got the one with the bologna and the barbecue sauce all, all over that. And it was absolutely delicious for ten bucks a piece. That's almost unheard of anymore. And that was a pretty good sized plate we had. But anyway, we're going to kind of just walk around here a little bit and see what they've got. I gotta go over here and check out what they got in this barn. Uh, I know they've been selling, I think they've been selling t-shirts, but I'm not real sure. I may meander over here and see if I can get me, if they have any for sale over here. I'm not sure exactly what they're selling over here. Oh, no, I think they're flags and that sort of stuff. Okay, well, we're gonna go on. Um, here's a, this is what we're at, Burden Days. It's the second weekend in September, if I've if I not mentioned that earlier. So let's just go in here and walk around here a little bit. <clears throat> oh, look, they got a jam and jelly competition going on over here.
This one turned out to be a lot bigger than what I had thought. They got a lot of vendors in here. Yeah, they got all kinds of stuff here. You'd have to come down here. I think it's a one-day event, but they sell everything. I mean, jewelry and and snacks and just all kinds of snow cones. Looks like they got snow cones over there. Um, we meet in hospitals. Got their exhibit set up. Oh, look at this over here. Looks like an old jail. <laughs> an old jail over there. It's kind of crowded right now. I may come back over to it. And they got all kinds of clothing, women's clothing, and and uh, baked items, pies, and bread. My goodness. I mean, all kinds of stuff for sale in here. I was looking for one of those t-shirts, but I see I can't find them. They must not. That's probably something they sold at the Chamber of Commerce or something. And I just wasn't able to get over here to get to it. But that's all right. I've got, I got more t-shirts now than I'll ever wear. But yeah, let's sneak back over here and see if we can look at this old jail. I guess that's what it looks like to me, an old jail cell. Look at that. Huh. Wow, well they got locked up tight too. You wouldn't want to be in there. Huh. That's different. <clears throat> oh, I found the car show. It's off over that direction. We'll walk over there. Plus they got a playground area for the kids. We come to Burden all the time. And I don't think we've ever been to the park. Of course, usually there's not much going on, you know, um, normally. But they have a lot here. They got more cakewalk, it says, over here. They've got all kinds of, look at this. Well, those all look real good, too, don't they? Boy, that does. It looks very, very good. And they got, I'm not sure, blankets over here. Um, that's all kinds of stuff. I didn't realize they had all this. Of course, we've never been to one before. This is our first year uh, of being to this festival. We got candles over there. Um, all kinds of stuff. Well, let's go back out here and we'll look around a little bit more. Some of the uh, vendors they got here going. They got a lot of vendors, they really do. I'm really surprised. They got a bunch of vendors. And this line over here is very long. The one we went to, though, I was real happy with it. It was uh, reasonably priced and got a lot of food, too, to go with it. So I, didn't, I couldn't complain at all for that. Uh, yeah. They got somebody over there singing. All right. Okay, we're going to try to find the car show. Let's walk our way over, over this way. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm totally going the wrong way. <laughs> I know I've seen it earlier. They've even got a, a pool here for the kids. Or for anybody, for that matter. Yeah, we found it. It's over there a little ways. We'll make our way over there. Uh, anyway, that's their pool right over there. 
Yeah, boy, they put it out far enough. But that's all right. It's still a very, very nice day. A little warm out. And I like to think the breeze went down a little bit. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day other than that. Beautiful day. Looks like they got something getting ready to happen over here. I'm not sure what. Tennis or something going on over here. Or maybe that pickleball thing so popular these days. That may be what it is too. I'm not sure. Oh, volleyball. Yeah, it could be volleyball too. And here they're having a, a corn, what do they call this? Corn hole competition going on over here. Boy. Boy, I tell you what. They got cattle pens off over that way. I didn't know they had cattle pens out here. Of course, we come to Burden quite often. We just never drove through the park before. And, you know, usually there's just nothing going on. I recognize some of these cars already. Not all, but some. Smoker out here. At least it's in the shade over there. Yeah, I've been very pleased with this Burden Days. Small town, a small town festival, but I'm gonna tell you something. At least they do something for their people. Um, there's a lot larger cities that don't do anything hardly in the way of festivals or anything like that. <clears throat> Our Kansas City, of course, they've got Arkalala, and it's the last weekend of in October. Then they've got the uh, Last Run car show, and it's coming up, oh gosh, I think it's uh, next weekend, I think. Um... That's a big car show. That's 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 a big one in our area, and I usually never miss a year. And I plan on going, as of right now. And uh, Winfield has the Walnut Valley uh, Bluegrass Festival. We have that. That's about all we have anymore. Um, we used to have Kansas Days, and I love going to Kansas Days. It, this was way back in the early 90s and uh, I never miss the Kansas days I went every year and I bought the hats and t-shirts the pants I've still got them to this day and that was a long time ago well but now um, we got the bluegrass that's just about it we got Winfield but I enjoy going to all the other festivals and parades and that sort of thing Arkalala is a big event there's a nice looking Porsche here. Porsche, however you want to pronounce them. I think Porsche is the correct name. A lot of people just say Porsche. Now that's one I don't believe I've seen uh, around too much. I like that rear spoiler they got on the back of that. That's neat. Because they've got their deep dish wheels. Boy, that's really nice. I like that. And here's a Formula 455. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that engine on that. Wow, really nice. Pontiac Firebird. Nice. Yeah, really nice. I'll take a peek on the inside. Look at that interior. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. Had to change out a battery, so we're going to go on. We got that changed out. Here's a, a light blue Chevy pickup. 
really nice. I love these years of pickups. Reminds me of the one my grandfather had. Had one similar to this one. Of course, it didn't have the wheels on it. <laughs> Very nice. And here's another Chevy. Of kind of a flat black with a real uh, little green stripe down the side of it there. Oh boy, it's got nice seats in it too. Look at that. Oh wow, I love the inside of that. That's nice now. Really got that nice. And here's a flat black and bright red pickup. Matching toolbox in the back. Oh yeah, this is Chevy of course. Well, they got it fixed up real nice on the inside too. Of course, there's a El Camino. Yeah, really nice. Got the nice wheels on it. Super Sport. sharp looks like the inside's all original too really nice yeah nice let's go down here and look at this this oldie here This is a Ford. Yeah. Nice interior, real nice. There's a, another pickup here, really nice. Ford pickup. Really nice, nice. I think these are some of my favorites here. These older models. Really nice. Nice interior. Really nice. And there's an Impala station wagon. This brings back memories. This was what year I was raised up with these years. Of course, my folks never had a station wagon, but the year the make of the models all correct. What my folks mainly bought was Chevys, Impalas, and mainly Impalas. Yep. Just don't make them that way, of course, anymore. Oh, this Klein Motors out of Winfield. Super Sport Chevy. I don't think they make these anymore. Well, it's got a nice interior. Look at that. Of course, convertible. It was supposed to replicate the older model, uh, like the older model Chevys pickups we just looked at. That's what it's supposed to kind of look like. The front end had that 50s Chevy uh, look to it. But like I said, I thought they only made it for a few years. I'm not sure how many. So these are a collector's item. Very, very cool looking. Okay. Well, I think that's all of the vehicles out here. I may take a minute and take some pictures. And then we'll get back with you here, here in just a little bit. 
Okay, well, I got some pics of the cars. So I think that's about it, guys. We're not going to stay for the later events. We're going to have a live band and dancing, but that will be till about 7, 8, 9 o'clock this evening. But, you know, we got we went to the parade and we got a spike to eat and uh, saw the cars. And I think that's just about it. We'll walk through this pavilion one more time. I am really impressed, though. They had a lot of vendors, food vendors. They really did. I bet they had six or eight food vendors. And it all looked... And that's a lot of food vendors for a little festival like this. You know, it really is. I thought they had to have one or two. But no, they had like... I didn't count them, but I don't know. It had to be at least six vendors. So we're going to go through here one more time. And we'll probably head on out. It's still not real bad out today. A little warm, but not bad. And there's the old jail cell. Take a picture for me. Looks like they repainted it and it looks like it's pretty good shape. I don't know if it's authentic. I don't know if it's a replica. We don't know. It looks like it could have been original jail cells at one time that's sturdy though of course they're supposed to be it's a jail cell <laughs> okay well we're just going to walk through there's some dresses over there and and uh face they got face painting going on for the kids they got snow cones over here and uh looks like they got some jewelry women's type jewelry over here um, yeah, they offer quite a bit. Um, yeah. They say handmade. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Forbidden Boutique. Okay. Yeah. I'll be. These just mainly wall hangings or whatever? Oh, plant hangers? Okay. That's cool. Looks real nice. Looks really nice. Mm -hmm. This stuff over here makes me hungry. They got all kind of baked goods. Pies and breads and rolls. And I seen a deal of rolls a little bit ago. And uh, it was just, they were huge cinnamon rolls. And I'm not sure what these are. Um, I don't know. I think they're scented. They may just hang them around. Uh, oh, car air fresheners. Well, I'll be, that's what those are, car air fresheners. I can smell them clear out here. There's a peace sign and almost a black ice, new car smell. Volcano, volcano smell. I don't know about that. Pumpkin picking. Boy, all different kinds. Well, now I've never seen that before. Not like that. But that's all right. If people try to sell their, sell their wares, sell their stuff, and they got a no. And of course, they got a quilt raffle going on um, when a quilt it says well then of course I got candles over here all different kinds of candles and earrings maybe and candles and yeah if you get down here it'd be a nice thing to go visit this afternoon and then they've got the band and a dance and they got a rodeo going on all this evening I think this is just a one-day event here in Burden, but it's not too late. Come on out and just enjoy, and just just enjoy being out. Get you some of this real delicious food. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five. I think there's like six vendors out here. Now where'd the wife go? She's around here somewhere. There you are. 
I thought you had done disappeared on me. No, these are, are very good food. It's all it all smells delicious. It really does smell really good. Really good. Okay, guys, I think that's it for now. We're sure glad you come along and joined us today on this beautiful, beautiful Saturday. Remember to go out and explore your world. Have fun. Be safe. Go down old dirt roads, back county roads. See what you can find. Old towns. You'd be surprised what you can find. But just be safe. Be careful. Be cautious. Be aware of your surroundings. And go out and, uh, and just have fun. And like I always say, we will see you on the next video. So, we'll say goodbye for now. And we'll catch you all next time. So, goodbye for now.